Welcome to Learning Excel with Dr. Ted. Hey there, and welcome to this video. In this video, we will be going over two common features in Excel of sorting or filtering your data. You can follow along in the accompanying spreadsheet located by our video. Let's go ahead and navigate to this second tab right here called sorting dash filter. Go ahead and select that. Here we have a list of different employees who work for our organization. We have in column A, the name, in column B, the age, in column C, the region, and in column D, the salary for each of these employees. Let's go ahead and navigate under, if you haven't done so already, navigate to data in the ribbon in Excel, and then we're going to look at this option called sorting first. So the first thing let's do is go ahead and select the data. So select all this data from A1 all the way down to D14. At that point, go ahead in the ribbon, go to data, sort, and select the option to sort by, in this case, the column. We're going to sort by, first of all, the age. And let's go ahead and look at employees from the age that are smallest or youngest to the age that is the oldest or largest. Go ahead and press OK here. At this point, we now have all the employees sorted by age. We have Alice, who is the youngest employee, and we have Antonio, who is our oldest employee. We can then go ahead and create another sorting option to sort in this case by the salaries of employees. Go ahead and select all the data again from A1 to D14 and select the option to sort. From there, instead of sorting by age, we're going to change this to salary. And we're going to sort by salary now from our order from largest to smallest. Go ahead and select that option from largest to smallest. Select that and press OK. Now we have all the employees sorted by the largest salary, or in other words, Pedro, to the lowest salary, in other words, Jose, in this case. We can also go ahead and create the option to filter. So go ahead with me and navigate and select the data from A1 all the way to D14 and select the option under Data Filter. Let's go ahead and filter all the employees now who work in a particular region. I'm going to unselect all, and instead of looking at all the regions, I want to just look, for instance, at the East region. So go ahead and select East region. By selecting OK, we see the three employees of the 13 employees who work in the East region. I'm going to go ahead and select again this to take it off. I could go ahead and select all by clicking on this, and you see all the employees now represented. Another filter we could do as well would be looking at the filter associated with the age or the salary. Let's navigate over to age, and let's say in this case, we want to do a number filter where employees are greater than, in this case, we could say we want to look at employees who are greater than or older than the age of 40. Go ahead and press that, and you see that we have six employees who are older than 40. If we want to take that off, we could go back here under the B1, select this option, select Select All, and press OK, and all the employees are now represented. Again, the sorting and filtering options in Excel are extremely helpful as you navigate and try and make more sense of the data in a spreadsheet. Thank you for watching Learning Excel with Dr. Ted. If you liked what you saw in this video and would like to learn more, subscribe now to our YouTube channel.